Elizabeth, do you have a second to be the voice of maternal experience? Really, any pointers or wisdom at this point would be very welcome. Unfortunately, babies don't come with manuals. There are books you can buy, but mostly it's trial and error. Don't worry, you're gonna figure it out as you get to know your child. I'm still having those panic attacks, and I have to say Patrick is no help at all on that. He's standing right behind me, isn't he? Listen, I didn't mean it the way that it sounded. You said I'm no help at all. I mean, what would you mean? Am I missing? Meaning there might be, you because know, other mothers out there. I'm trying to be supportive as I can be. You know what, correction, as, as you let me be, I try and show interest, try and participate in whatever limited way you allow me on every given day, but it's, it's really hard to be fully engaged when you're constantly telling people that, you, that you're so determined to have this baby on your own. <laughs> Growing a 10-pound potato in your belly for nine months is pretty much the definition of doing it alone. Can I speak now? Yes, please. Okay, I wasn't intentionally excluding you. The fact that you even want to be involved in this pregnancy is an unexpected and very welcomed gift. What I was talking about was comparing, you know, notes with other mothers, not necessarily with the big stuff, but, you know, day-to-day -day things. Like, for example, how am I supposed to shave my legs when I can't reach them? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I don't have the answer for that one. But even if you do find this like-minded support that you're looking for, it won't really matter. You don't listen to anybody anyway. Signing off on Nicholas Cassidyne's thought of Phenatoin. Right away, doctor. Thank you. Hey, thought you might be interested in this website. Mommy Graham. Helpful hints from experienced moms. Thank you. You know what's happening? I think I'm losing my focus because when I first wanted to get pregnant, I wanted to live my pregnancy, not mimic others. Maybe I should do a video diary to go along with my blog. This might be a silly question, but wouldn't it be more fun sharing with me, the father of the baby, instead of a bunch of online strangers? Mm, don't take this the wrong way, but not really. Because? Because you're a man. Be because I'm a man, Robin. Yes, you are a man, and I need empathy. So unless you're carrying around a 10-pound potato of your own, you can't really help me. <sighs> Hello. Uh... My name is Robin, and this is my first video blog. Um, I'm doing this to reach out to the sisterhood of single pregnant ladies who are alternately awed and freaked out by the changes happening in our body and the terrifying specter of motherhood. I mean, we're all in this together, right? All on guard for the next never experienced thing we're all on the same journey so this is my part to uh reach out and uh i hope that you do the same okay um where do i start uh well i'm happy to report that nausea is gone yes wow i, I hope that i never have to throw up ever again in my life what a simple joy just keeping food down the only problem is I can't seem to keep it in the house. I have turned into this eating machine. <laughs> I find myself regretting that there were only four food groups. I mean, who dropped the ball on that one? But then I tell myself, Robin, really, how huge do you want to get? You're already approaching cow-like proportions as it is. <sighs> I'm paranoid that the baby's going to come out and not take any of the extra baby weight with it which would be a problem because the father of my child already thinks that my mother is hotter than me. Yes, he said that. Oh, he tried to clean it up, but I heard it with my own ears. I mean, really? Seriously, what am I supposed to do with that? 